Hey everybody, this is Austin here at Agzaga coming back to you. Um, today I'm here with Greg Windorf with DT550. How do you do, Austin? Good, good to see you, Greg. Um, he's going to be explaining to us what an additive can do for the life of our equipment, uh, whether it's a tractor, a combine, a uh, feed and pickup, whatever it is, he's going he's gonna to show us how the DT550 works and why uh, it would benefit us as farmers to use it in our equipment. So, Greg, with that, I'll let you take it away. All righty, Austin. What we've got is we've got a Timken bearing tester. With the fulcrums and all that sort of stuff you learned in school, we've got a 30 to 1 ratio. We've got two, or a one pound weight on there, which is about 30 pounds of pressure. What I'm going to wind up doing is having you lift the handle up here in a minute when okay. I dump some oil on there, and we're going to be using this hardened steel bearing against this hardened steel race, and we're going to be applying that pressure there. Austin, what's a good oil that you use on the farm? Um, we typically use like a Rotella oil, you know. Okay, uh, Rotella T. Yep. We can do that. We've got a Rotella T right here. What I'm going to do, Austin, is I'm going to have you lift the handle up about three inches. I'm going to pour some oil on it, and we're going to let, let that do the thing. And we'll, see, right. what it, we'll see, what it, see how she works. Sounds good. Uh, get it turned I down. hope you proved me this works, Greg. I've well, never, we're I've never gonna, used an additive. Well, so. we're going to try and see how it works. We're going to see which ones do what here today. Go ahead and lift that up for me just a little bit. Whoop. This is the Rotella T. Okay. Try it nice and easy down, nice and easy. That's so, with one pound on it. So one pound, so 30 pounds. I can hear it making some noise. That'll give it 60 pounds there. And there's 90. There are three of them. Let's Sorry. go with a fourth weight. Be about 120 pounds of pressure onto it. There, there oh. we go. She stopped. Lift that's her up it. for me. Okay. Now. That's what, about 120 pounds. Do you yep. use an oil additive currently? Never have, no. What, what would be a good oil additive? What, what one do you think would be a good one to add to the product here? You know, see how it works. Uh, we're in Missouri. Lucas has a big farm in Missouri. We're used to using Lucas. Let's, uh, All righty. Let's try a little Lucas on the wheel then, see how she works. Now, Lucas is an oil additive. You use, lift her up there just a little bit for me, Austin. Nice and easy down. Now, we're at about 120 pounds of weight right there. With the Lucas oil? Oh. Ooh, she didn't go even here. Okay, try one more try. Go one more try. Oh. There we go. Now that was with the Lucas oil additive? Yes, sir. This is the DT550. Let's see if DT550 can help Lucas out in. Okay. And give you a little bit less friction in your equipment. Nice and easy. Now you've seen how little I put on versus how much right. of the other stuff we put on? Yeah. Now that is with four weights again. Let's just start adding some more. I'll let you do it. I don't right. have to reach over there. Number five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, it's running quiet. And here's something I Ten. find amazing. Something I find really amazing. A lot of you folks know Austin. He does a lot of videos with Ag Zaga. He can count. Look at this. It's amazing. 11, <laughs> 12, 13, 14. There she barked. 14 of them uh, at 3, 30 to 1 ratio. 12, 3, 430 pounds. Pretty close to that, yep. Now, to get the five, or the five years or 50,000 miles out of our product, We'll take her back down to that original. We'll go down to just five. Don't go back down to the original yeah, five, two or whatever. Where am I at right we'll there. just go about five somewhere in that area. And we'll fire up and we'll do it again. I got five on That's there. close enough. Right clean is a product that we use to clean the wheel all up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give her a big spray. I'm going to put that back on there first. Lift that handle up just a little bit for me. Nice and easy down. That Lucas is all over there. Let's just spray her all down and see how she does here. Okay. Now that's after we've cleaned all the oils and stuff off. That just shows you how the DT550 actually bonds to the metal. It's just stick, it sticks to it. It sticks to it. And that's how you can go every five years, 50,000 miles. Because when you drain your oil out, our product doesn't leave. It stays right there with the product, with the metals. Well, let's try it on a different, okay. different oil. Okay. Because I mean. I don't know if they'll be able to see this now, but if you lift that handle up for me just a little bit. Yeah. We're going to see if we can show them how we clean this up to start over again. So basically you're telling me, Greg, that it doesn't matter what kind of oil the person uses. Um, the DT550 is just to make that oil better. Yep. Uh, this is where we come up with this right here, making your favorite better. I don't care what oil product you use. I don't, 
uh, so far we haven't found anything you know to make it any a better product uh -huh. um, when I'm at shows and stuff I, I ask people to bring their stuff in uh, whatever they're using um, like as Lucas or whoever it is just, right. let's just get us something here to to, to compare to uh -huh. and we'll try your stuff out and see how it works um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this grinding stone I'm gonna dress these wheels up or this one anyhow I just rotated the bearing on that one so we get a nice clean start so we get a smooth surface here and hopefully if I do it right everything turns out good hopefully <laughs> oh I've made mistakes before that don't suppose to be my last one. Okay, let's leave that on. Which oil did you want to try next? Um, let's see, we did Rotella before. Let's just go with the John Deere. Go with the John Deere oil? Okay. Well, how about we compare John Deere to the International? Okay. Would you like to do that? Sure. Let's take that back down to, like, to say, the one pound weight or whatever. Can just do start it. out at the one. Yep. And we'll start with a John Deere, because I know that your tractors are red in color. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to give her a bath. Ask you to lift the handle up just a little bit for me. Nice and easy down. Go ahead and add another weight to it, Austin. That'll be two. Give her another one. That'll be three. One more before. She's getting hot. She's getting there. There's four. She okay, gone. lift her up right there. Now. We know where it stopped with the John Deere. Let's yes. see how if it does any better with the International. Okay. Because if it's better, it should keep going, right? Should, should theoretically. Do should do it. Give her a shot, see if she does any better there. Did not, okay. Well, now we've tried them two different oils to see which one was a comparison, one being better than the other. Yeah. What we found out was basically- They're equivalent. About the same, yep. yep, okay. This is a product called Hot Shot. Okay. It's called FR3, it's a friction reducer. And we'll see if it helps it in. We'll give her a little bath. I've already shaken it all up and opened up a brand new jug here. Let's try a little bath there and see how that works. Put another weight to it. Oh, oh. Well, she did a little bit better, but she still stopped. Give her one more shot. Go ahead and put a weight onto it. Yep, go ahead and lift her up for me. That was with a hot shot product. Okay. Now, you was telling me how you use Lucas out here. So let's try Lucas again on there and see if that helps any at this point. We've got Hot Shot, we've got Lucas, we've got, we got a little International, we've got a little John Deere oil, we got a little bit of everything on there. Nothing worked there. Didn't have time what to get What else we got here? Way. Let's just keep on going. All Let's right. just have some fun. You ever heard of Nano? You're on a roll now. They, they tell me that they use this in the military. I don't know. Let's try the Nano, see if that works any better. No. Oh. No, nothing there. This one might, because it's getting hot. Molly is a really, very good product. Um, they use a lot of oils, a lot of different uh, greases and stuff have molly in them. Yep. This stuff is nasty. Don't let me spray it up on you there. It is nasty stuff. Give the molly a shot. That may go better for you. Oh. Knew it didn't. All right. Okay. So now we've tested all them different products right there all at the same time on the same wheel doing the same thing. Yeah. Everyone got an even shake. So you're going to leave all that on there. I'm going to leave all that on there and show you how we can help each and every one of them. Okay. Again, making your favorite even better. Try that. Just that quick wow. and easy. Start Look adding how quiet stuff. that is. With that much stuff on, we should be able to get all them weights on. <laughs> Where are we at? We got five on there. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. 14 is where we're at the last time. 15. She's gonna bark. And it just smoothed right she, out. She did again, yep. 16. Hope you got enough weight. 17, 18. Last weight on the cart is 19. 19. I used to have 20, but my trash can used to set right there. Yes. Pretty sure that I dropped one somewhere and lost Threw it. Threw it so away. We're 30 pounds under 600 pounds right now. Wow. Lift that handle up. That's heavy, that guys. You? That's heavy. That's a lot of weight there. Okay, Austin, take it back down to where we were back down. Let's go back down to five weights. We don't need to go all the way down. Just take it back down to about five weights for me. We'll give her a shot with some brake clean so we can get some of this molly and stuff off in there. You ready? Yep. She's Let's a give five. her a shot with this brake clean again. Okay. That, ought to, that ought to take that DT550 off and stop it. Well, it took all the molly and the Lucas and all that stuff off her, it looks like. But again, that's how we help others. That 
No, we make your favorite even better. So you're, basically what I've learned here today, it doesn't matter if I use a Valvoline, or if I use a Rotella, a Pennzoil, or the cheap stuff from Walmart, doesn't really matter. Nope. The DT550 is gonna work the same across the board in whatever, whatever oil, engine oil, or hydraulic oil, or uh, differentials, or whatever it is you put it in, it's gonna work the same. It's gonna do a lot of things for you. Number one, I'll say, it's just, it's, let's just go to your pickup truck. If I can reduce the friction in the differential in that pickup truck, do you think it's going to help your, improve your mileage? It's going, to, it's going to help performance of the vehicle, give you a little bit of horsepower back to the motor? Absolutely. Okay, now if I treat the transfer case and do the same thing and get that same effect, yep. the motor, yep. the transmission, the power steering pump. People don't realize how much horsepower the power steering pump steals from you. Yep. We're going to show you how to get it back. Okay. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate it. Austin, after the cameras shut off, they asked, what if we ran with just DT550? Yep. Instead of using all the oils and stuff, lift that handle up for me just a little bit. What I want to show you is what happens when you're using that oil and all them different things. You can see the divots in that bearing right there. Yes. Them, that's from using oil first, then going to the DT550. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have them shut the camera off. I'm going to clean this machine all up again, and we're going to start fresh with nothing but DT550, all right? Okay. Sometimes they want to know, what'd you do to get that off there so we can start over again? And the first thing you have to do is turn this bearing around. Yes. So you got it back to a good round surface. Back to a nice, clean, smooth surface. Yep. Or as smooth as we can get. Okay. Yep. And then I'm going to take this grinding stone here, sharpening stone. I'm going to clean this all up. Okay. I'm Knock just gonna the burrs off this. that race. So all we're doing is knocking the burrs off from it and stuff. And hopefully... We're going to grind off any DT550 that's on here okay. so See, that we're starting out fresh Clean again. as a whistle. As clean as I can get it. Exactly. And this, the DT550, just so I'm clear, Greg, it's not a replacement for oils. It's just an additive only, correct? Correct. Okay. So some of the people out here that have these oil additives and stuff, they want you to uh, replace, say, a quart with a quart of their stuff, or right. or they're putting it in every oil change and things like that. Yep. Our product is, is totally different than that. We don't put it in every every oil change. We don't use different products for different things, like uh, we got to have this jug for power steering pump, we got to have this jug for the uh, transmission, we got to have this one for the differential. This is one product, one can, does everything. Works and everything. Now, what I'm going to show you is, I'm going to, we're starting it, what are we at there? I think we got five pounds. We got well, let's make pounds. it fair. Take it down to one. We got to make, right, right, right. make it fair. All right. We got to make it fair. Are you scared or what? Well, no, I'm just going to, it's going to be amazing. Okay. I'm serious as a heart attack when I tell you this is going to be just amazing to you what happens. Here, go ahead and lift that up for me. Yep. Nice and easy. Go ahead and start adding weights to it, Austin. All right. Just nice and slowly add me up to about five. All right, we got two there. That makes three, four, and five. Okay. So that's about 150 pounds. And we're at nine on the clock. Okay. Okay, so there's five seconds. You know, it takes a long time to run these seconds too. Right. There's 10, okay, there's 15 coming up. Lift that handle up for me. Yep. Set it back down. I don't know if the camera can even pick that little thing up. Wow, right just a little bitty. Now that's with five weights on it. You've seen yeah. what happened with all the others. Others. Right. This is with just DT550. Lift that up for me again. I love doing this part. Set her back down nice and easy. Okay. Put me on another five. All right, there's six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we're on the six. So let's just give it another 15 seconds or so running at that weight. That's okay. double what we ran on anything so else that's we had on that's 300 pounds. Roughly, yep, yep, roughly 300 pounds. There's been 10 seconds. Let's let it run a little bit more here just because it's going to get hot, so I'm going to start handling it. So lift her up for me. Now, just so you can see it again, it, it, has got, it has gotten a little bit bigger. Maybe just a little, yeah, not a lot. Compared maybe. to this one, and we're at 600 pounds now, or 300 pounds, excuse me. Yes. Let's put another five weights on there and see how she does it about... Would that be 450, something like that? All right, know. so we got 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay, let's just let that run out. So for this two. would be 450 pounds. So, yeah, there's five seconds. It's, it's amazing what this stuff does. There, there's 10. No one else that's out here has done this yet with all the different things we've tried it. There's about 15 seconds. Going to lift him up for me. Now, this is with how many pounds again? 450 pounds, roughly. <sighs> That was uh, hot. Yeah, I bet it's hot. Now, see, it's getting a little bit warm there. It's a little bit warm, yeah. But nothing like this. Still going. Oh, yeah, still yeah. going. Let's 
put the rest of them on there and see how she does. All right, we're gonna have, whoa. Broken toe? 16, <laughs> 17, 18, and 19. And we're at the 10, so we'll there's little... the 11, that's five. Uh, we'll give her 10 more, another, another 10 seconds here yet. There, there's another five. It's, it's a long time when you're counting the seconds. So. It is. I'm impressed though, Greg. I'm not Go ahead and lift lie. the handle up for me again. You can feel the weight difference. Go ahead and set oh, him down nice heavy. and easy. I was pretty skeptical when we started this deal. Now you've made a believer. You can see what that does. Yes. In comparison to this. Very minute. Very, very to... little. Very, very little. And that's what DT550 can do for you and your customers. And again, we're here to make your favorite better. All right, well, Greg, we've obviously demonstrated how this works and how it makes, like you say, your favorite product better. Yep. Um, I guess the question I would like for you to answer for the viewers here or our customers is how much of this do I need to put into each, uh, whether it's an engine compartment, it's a transfer case, a differential, uh, okay. you know, can you, can you kind of explain that to our viewers? Under the DT being drivetrain, you're going to start out with the very front of your pickup and the power steering pump. Okay. You're going to get one ounce. In your motor, it's one and a half ounce per quart of oil. So if you've got a six quart system, you're going to get nine ounces. Yes, sir. The nice thing about these jugs are, if you just pour that around like that right there, that's your three ounce mark right here. You pour that in three times. There you go. That's all you got to do to just do that. that simple. Just that easy. Do the one ounce like that, same way. Okay. Um, if you are, you're going to go from the motor at one and a half ounce per quart of oil. Mm -hmm. There'll be nine ounces on a six quart system. Your transmission, whether it's automatic or a manual, gets three ounces. Regardless. Regardless, doesn't okay. matter. Transfer case gets three ounces, and each differential holds between two and three quarts of gear lube, do two and a half to three ounces in each differential. Okay. Now you've just done the complete drivetrain of your vehicle. Yep. Okay, now what about, uh, you know, I know a lot of these farmers have small engines, whether it's on their lawnmower, a chainsaw, uh, wood splitter, whatever it may be. Transfer uh, wagons and stuff with the water for fertilizers right, and stuff. Right. On a Briggs & Stratton or a Honda motor or anything like that, you're gonna wanna use a two ounce per quart of oil in the crankcase. Two ounces. Them before. motors run hot, and we ask them for a lot, so the more you do, the better. Okay. And I would suggest putting that in uh, at least once a year in that application. Okay. In a two-stroke situation, chainsaws, weed whackers, uh, jet skis, uh, motorcycles, uh, all these different two-cycle application. In a two-cycle application, like in a chainsaw situation, mm -hmm. you mix your gas and oil first because I need the oil to get to my transfer to get to where I want to go, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm going to get on. So you add two ounces to one gallon mix of gas and oil. Okay. Run it through your chainsaw, your weed whacker, whatever, once or twice a year, depending on how much you use it. Now on a chainsaw, you the fun part is to add it directly to the bar. After you've set your chainsaw all up and got that bar working the way you want it, add a few drops on, start turning that chain. Do not retighten the chain, it's perfect. You'll be amazed at what that'll do. And then add one ounce per quart of gear lube or bar oil. So in a one gallon jug, you'd add four ounces and shake it good and run it through the machine. Okay. Um, other applications. Rule of thumb, hydraulic fluid, three quarter ounce per quart of hydraulic fluid. Okay. That's three quarter ounce per quart. Okay. Gear or gear lube, one ounce per quart. And oil, one and a half ounce per quart. Keep in mind, we are not a fuel additive. Yes. Yep. And this is not an, this isn't a, this is strictly an additive for your oils. It does not replace anything. Does not replace. Like in an automatic transmission, a lot of people say, well, you're going to overfill it. The transmission will never notice three ounces. Right. Never notice. Yep. Your crankcase at nine ounces in a six-quart system, never notice. Semi-truck, 40-quart system, takes 60 ounces. That, that big truck will never notice that's in there either. Yeah. Never notice. Okay. Well, I appreciate your time, Greg. Appreciate it. You bet. Thanks, Austin. Thank you. Have a good day.